Welcome back. In this final module, we're going to learn about parametric equations. Chances are, for all the expressions of functions you've encountered so far, there has been a direct relationship between the independent and dependent variables x and y. In other words, the variables x and y have been linked through a single equation, such as y equals x squared or x squared plus y squared equals 1. However, it's possible and often useful to express the relationship between x and y indirectly through a third variable called a parameter. Let's look at an example. Consider the function y equals x squared. This simple parabola can be parameterized with a free parameter t by setting x equals t and y to be t squared. The parameter t is referred to as free because it can take the value of any real number. We have therefore expressed the single Cartesian equation y equals x squared as a pair of two parametric equations. In other words, x and y are now linked by the parameter t through two equations instead of being directly linked through a single equation. Moreover, since x equals t and y equals t squared for any choice of t, the Cartesian coordinate of a point x, y on the parabola corresponds to the new parametric coordinates t t squared. Indeed, by letting t run through all the real numbers, the coordinate t t squared will trace out the exact same parabola as y equals x squared. Let's now look at a more difficult example. We start by looking at the unit circle centered at the origin whose Cartesian equation is x squared plus y squared equals 1. For each point x, y on the circle, connect the ray to the origin, and let us call theta the angle from the positive x-axis to the ray, considered anti-clockwise. Since the circle is a unit circle, it may be parameterized with a pair of parametric equations x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta, where theta runs from 0 to 2 pi. Hence, for any choice of angle theta, the corresponding coordinate of the point on the circle subtended by that angle is simply cosine theta sine theta. Of course, this link between circles and trigonometry should come as no surprise, as this unit circle construction actually forms the basis for the definition of cosine and sine for angles of any magnitude. Let's consider another example. How could we parameterize the ellipse x squared plus 36 y squared equals 9? After dividing both sides by 9, we can rearrange the left-hand side using the index laws into the following form. We then parameterize the ellipse by setting x on 3 to be cosine theta and 2y to be sine theta. Hence, our pair of parametric equations are x equals 3 cosine theta, and y equals a half sine theta. Now that we've investigated the process of parameterizing a Cartesian equation, let us briefly study the opposite problem of converting a pair of parametric equations into Cartesian form. The basic strategy is to rearrange the parametric equations in a way that allows us to eliminate the parameter, although this can sometimes be quite difficult and an element of ingenuity is required. Consider the ellipse 
given by the parametric equations x equals 5 cosine theta and y equals 3 sine theta. Then x on 5 is equal to cosine theta and y on 3 is equal to sine theta. We can then employ a clever trick to eliminate the parameter. Squaring both equations and then adding them together, we can use the well-known trigonometric identity sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 to eliminate theta. Alright, it's time to pause the module and have a go at the following practice questions. And here are the answers to the practice questions.